All right, taking a break from doing Warhammer to work on a Star Wars model. And we're doing the Bandai Star Destroyer. And this is the lighting model. So I've actually gotten pretty far into the actual kit. Uh, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's got really, really, really sharp detail on it. So, I'm in the process of finishing up the lower hole right now. Um, I think one of the next steps is like doing the engines or something like that. But anyway, um, <coughs> so this little box here is got all these LEDs that you plug in and they sit in these little channels here and then project the light out so it's actually a fairly straightforward way to light this thing and let me see if you turn this on and let me turn out the overhead you can kind of see how it's uh lighting up the trenches and the, the bottom part of the ship. So it's a nice cool white color. I would have preferred, you know, the, the warm white LED look. But, you know, this looks okay. Um, and it's, it's a really nice alternative to sticking fiber optics in everything. Uh, interesting enough, the, uh, the, the first release came with all of these clear parts. I still have them in the bag. Let me get them out real quick. Open this bag so you can see them. But the nice thing about the whole model, and I don't know if this is true for the unlit version, the regular one that you can buy, but there's, all the holes are already there. So you don't have to drill anything. You know, so you're not buying, you know, 50 drill bits to drill out, you know, a thousand holes. But these clear pieces, they're basically an exact replica of the opaque parts. It's like, here's the trenches here. And here's like the, the upper portion where the bridge is at. And if they've got holes, they're there. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can kind of see the holes in there. And so they've actually got a suggested way of doing fiber optic using the clear pieces, um, which you could do that with these. You know, part of the job's already done in that, you know, the holes are there. So you just would have to run all the fibers. And I believe instead of putting like this, this tray thing in here, this like light channel that's in here, you would use the fibers instead and just, you know, do like you would regularly do and like an LED, use one of the LEDs with a tube, you know, with tape wrapped around it and stick LEDs in, in it and stuff like that. So, but I think that the way that this is right here is, an, is a nice alternative to doing it that way. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can color some of these to, um, to get the, um, the, the, get that red color in there that you see a lot on the Empire Strikes Back version, which I believe is what this is based off of. And see if we can get some of that in there. I also plan to probably run some future along this to seal up those all those different openings so that um <coughs> so that we can get some of that um those hot spots to kind of calm down a little bit this actually is going together really really fast um a lot faster than i anticipated i did all of this right here in one like less than two hours sitting so there's no paint on it yet. 
It's just really, really nice detail on this thing. I mean, I don't feel like I need to do anything to this, really, other than maybe clean it up a bit. But I don't feel like I need to add any detail to this or anything like that, other than just make sure I paint it right. And I'll paint it looking good. It also came with uh, these little a little falcon and a uh, little frigate there. So, and an okay stand. And of course, the nice thing too about everything being contained in the model is that there's no wired run all over the place. I don't have to find, you know, a wall wart for it. The only downside is that you have to handle the model in order to get the lights to turn on. You know, which, you know, you're going to rub paint and stuff like that. But other than that, it's a really, really nice kit. I have not um, finalized the colors that I'm going to do. I haven't finalized what type of paint I want to do yet. Like as far as, you know, if I want to use Tamiya or Vallejo or Model Master or something else. But we're getting there. So, all right. Well, that about does it. And I will see you guys in the next video.